Welcome to the update. I'm Eleanor Quirk. The federal government concedes it has more work to do to ease the cost of living pressures. That's despite latest figures revealing a spike in wage growth. New data shows wages have grown at their fastest pace since 2009. But Treasurer Jim Chalmers admits despite the uptick, many Aussies are still doing it tough. We have seen some encouraging signs when it comes to the impact of our plans, whether it's the cost of living relief or getting wages moving again, but we're under no illusions. Residents in central Victoria have been forced to evacuate as floodwaters continue to rise. The SCS is continuing to respond to hundreds of calls for help, with some residents forced to flee their flooded homes by boat. Passengers injured in a light plane crash on Queensland's Lizard Island have been airlifted back to the mainland. Ten people, including one child, were on the aircraft when it overshot the runway. QAS Acting Assistant Commissioner Brina Keating says four people were injured. We have uh, a patient with a head injury and a minor laceration and also a report of a fractured arm. Police say they've smashed a major reptile smuggling ring after seizing hundreds of native lizards that were destined for the black market in Hong Kong. The reptiles were found during a number of raids in Sydney with three men and a woman now facing charges. Sport and entertainment are next. To sport and Alex de Menor has made it into the top 10 in world tennis rankings. The 24-year-old's the first Australian man to achieve the milestone since Leighton Cured in 2006. It comes after recent wins against Novak Djokovic and Alexander Zverev. But de Menor says there's still more work to do. It's been in the works for, for a while now, so I'm extremely stoked that I was able to kind of get it done. But at the same time, it's not over yet. It's all about trying to keep on improving, trying to put myself in the best position. And, you know, hopefully I can put my best step forward for the Australian Open. To entertainment, an Aussie actress, Elizabeth Debicki, has picked up her first Golden Globe Award, receiving the nod for her role as Princess Diana in The Crown. The 33-year-old thanked her family back home. To my mum and my dad and Kush and Tommy, who are in Australia, hopefully in their pyjamas watching this, uh, to my partner, Christian, who said, don't thank me so that I'm not on television, but I'm going to thank you anyway. Fellow Aussie Margot Robbie was beaten in the Best Actress in a Musical or Comedy category by Emma Stone. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you again soon for another episode of The Update.